Take me to my father, father, brother, uncle, Kiflam. Kiflam viewers, Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, taking you on a journey. A journey where you are seeking the truth. Michael has decided to join the cult that is Epsilon for some enlightenment and whatever else. And his journey begins with this mission, but it actually begins sooner than this. And I'd done videos before and took them down because I didn't like them. Now I'm just going to document Michael's journey, uh, video by video, episode by episode, and you can watch as Michael joins Epsilon. So let's get on with the start of it. Trees can talk, but only some people. Hey, how you doing? That's nice. Hey, great, really great. How are you? Well. I know how you are. Do you? Yes. It's obvious. It's really obvious. Once you've studied the literature and done the classwork and studied in a group, it's really obvious. I'm getting really close now. Close to everything. And you, well, you're still lost. You live in the happiest place in the world, and yet you feel like life is passing you by? That's because you don't know anything at all. Everything you know is a lie. Everything. Listen, brother. If you're interested in the truth, go to EpsilonProgram.com and prepare to be amazed. Remember, the tract has not yet been written. Okay. Hey, live with your doubts, brother, brother. I'm happy with my certainties. Actually, if you don't play GTA 5 regularly or have ever played it, you wouldn't know about Epsilon. And Michael, meeting that random stranger, tells him to go to their website. And he takes, if he takes the Evaluate Your Identity quiz, then it begins his journey into the cult that is Epsilon. So let's evaluate Michael's identity. It really doesn't matter what you answer on this quiz, you're going to get the same basic reply. And yeah, you can answer the questions yes, no, uncertain all the time. You're just going to get the same basic reply. He has an enlightenment level of 24%, which is highly undesirable band. Yeah, he's uh, extremely unfulfilled, depressed, unsuccessful, and lacking in purpose, blah, blah, blah. Let's get on with it, and let's start seeking the truth. About a day or two later, a question mark will appear on the map. And right here is where Michael is going to go and seek out the truth. But I'm going to cut to that point because it's an extremely long drive. And during Michael's journey, he stops and helps a stranger, which I'll do in the end, let you see what happens. truck, huh? Yeah, fuck it, why not? Take me to my father, father, brother, uncle, Kiflam. Yo, peace, brother, brother. Kiflam. Oh, Kiflum. really? Oh!
that wasn't very enlightening. I mean, he got sucker punched. And now these cultists are going to send Michael a text that, well, he owes them 500 bucks for the privilege of getting sucker punched, essentially. And that is actually the only way you're going to be able to progress this whole joining the cult. And I'm waiting for the text to pop up. Yeah, I'll let Michael run around and eventually, yep, here we go. Uh, Marnie. And it says, give us 500 bucks. Yeah, please visit our website and donate 500 bucks. So I'm going to donate 500 bucks to the website. And there you go. Transaction processed. Kiflam. Yeah, this is, like I said, I'm, I'm documenting Michael's journey individually each event because I did in the past try and put it together all in like three different videos and didn't get much views. Hopefully you will be watching this video. And if you actually liked this video and found it informative, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave some comments. If you like this type of video and you want to find out more about Michael's journey into the occult called Epsilon, hit the subscribe button and bell icon because I post four video game related videos a week plus some specials and some shorts and you don't want to miss out. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by. Kiflam, and I'm going to put the Michael Helps a Stranger out immediately after this. So stay tuned. Baby, what are you doing? Neighbors are going to see this. You're always at that fucking golf course. You know I've got a competition coming up. Look, can we talk about this inside? Oh, really? You think I was born yesterday? Who plays golf at midnight? That's Ooh. it. Walk Ooh. away like you Ooh. always do. Hey, you. Listen, can you give me a ride? My wife's gone crazy. I'll throw some dollars your way. Haha, <laughs> been there, done that, got the t-shirt. Hop on board, my friend. Thanks, man. Just let me grab my favorite iron. She's not getting that. What a mess. A really great wardrobe out for all to see. Whatever. Can't deal with it right now. When you drop me off at the golf club in Richmond, at least I know I'll be welcome there. So, you're just gonna leave all your stuff in the driveway? Yeah, I'm not giving her the satisfaction of cleaning that up. I'll go to the club, get a few drinks in me, and hope either her meds have kicked in or the gin is worn off by the time I get back. I appreciate you doing this, by the way. I, I know it's kind of a weird one. What's your name? Michael. Good to meet you. I'm Castro. What is that? Italian? Spanish? Pure wasp, I'm afraid. My sister's called Muffy, so I think I got off lightly. So, what was that all about? Ah, just the usual psycho female stuff. She thinks I've got another woman on the side. And do you? That's not the point. She doesn't know that I have one. Okay, guy to guy now. I have a very strict code. Only on out-of-town trips, no real names, a dead trail. That's a gentleman's way, right? I don't know. I'm not that careful. Then again, neither is my wife. Did you see that new article? I'm good like that. I don't want to embarrass her. Then she goes and literally airs our dirty laundry in front of all the neighbors. I mean, show some class. So let me get this straight. You're pissed because she's accusing you of cheating when she doesn't know you've cheated. Even though you have cheated. Exactly. It's like a lack of trust. She'd be accusing me of it even if I... If you just drop me off at the entrance here, that'd be great. Exactly. It's like a lack of trust. She'd be accusing me of it even if I hadn't. Thanks again. Hey, we should play golf sometime. Come by the club. I'm here most days.